No, it just came from, um, I was given a nickname Blue Chip when I was like eight years old. So like over the years, it just shortened down the chip. Um, and I just rolled with it, just stuck with it. Um, just carried a chip over my shoulder. You know, um, football hasn't been the journey that I expected it to be, but you know, that's life in general. So I just keep that chip on my shoulder, every play, every snap and every game. I just worked hard, kept my head down and just stay ready. Um, I'm just the type of player that I'm going to maximize whatever role that's given to me. So whether that's blocking, whether that's being a running back, whether that's flexing out, coming in, crunch blocking, like I'm going to just do my best because I'm a competitor at the end of the day and I just want to compete. I would say just my knowledge overall for the game. Um, I understand a lot. I can pick up a lot. And I see a lot on the field as the play is happening. Um, as coaches call it, being a fixer, um, not knowing, I mean, you having your assignment, but if a, if another assignment blows up, are you going to fix the play and keep the play going? So just overall being a fixer and, and just having that competitive mentality, just going on the field and just finding a way to win. I mean, as much as fans want to think that they are qualified enough to call plays and come out there and do our job, I mean, good for them. But I can promise you that nobody here cares at all about what they say. Uh, we appreciate all our support and everything else, but – when it comes down to the X and O's about them talking about stuff, I mean, they don't see the thousands of reps that we're putting in and Kyle and Devin and those guys are putting in. I mean, that's a that's a tough spot to step into. And to be honest with you, I think they did well, and I trust wholeheartedly both those guys with the game in their hands. Uh, and I think for a start, that was awesome. I remember people calling for CJ's head when he first started that. And I mean, when you first deal with it, it's hard not to look at some of the stuff, I guess. But, uh, I mean, once you go through it and you realize that, I mean – some homeboy in his basement <laughs> texting about him really doesn't matter what you're going to do on Saturday. And I can assure you that when we ever, when we go in that game on Saturday that we are not thinking about Johnny in his basement typing that, hey, <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> I, I felt like he was settling most of the game, to be honest with you. we got to protect a little bit better up front. And I think uh, I think make things easier for him. But I think the situation that he had, I mean, I think he played a hell of a game. And, I mean, I'm happy to see week one to week two strides and week two to week three strides and from there on out. We're just going to stay vertical. Uh, we got all the talent in the world, and I have all the confidence in the world in these guys. Like, no matter what anybody says, I mean, we got the right people in the room. We got the right people on the line. Uh, we're just going to come off the ball vertically, and that's all there is to it, short and simple, and let's get north or south. Yeah, no, I definitely think that's thing. Like I said, it was his first game, and people are going to say what they want to say, but we kind of have a Woody, Woody versus everybody atmosphere. And one of my favorite quotes that actually CJ said was, I don't want to prove anyone wrong. I want to prove everyone right that believed in me in the first place. So I think, uh, you know, if they just go out with that, that same attitude every single day, nothing could really bother you. I would say, I would say mediocre, but at the same time, I don't think a lot of people take into account it's the first week. You don't know what they're running. You, don't have, you have previous film, um, but... Matt Guerrero was there, a uh, guy who knew Ohio State offense. So, um, and, they, and to scout the 40-plus transfers that they had, and basically I don't know how many transfers they had on defense, but I knew it was a lot. Um, to scout those guys, too, is difficult for an offense line. Um, yeah, I'd say it was mediocre, but I think we got a lot of stuff to improve on. So I think everything was correctable. Um, it's just little slight communication errors. Um, on, on us that we have to fix. I like this defense a lot. Like, I feel like it, it's a complex defense with a whole bunch of checks. I just, I, I'm a big fan of our defense. I, I personally feel like the uh, silver bullets are back. Well, we just know stuff more. Yeah, we, we just understand the defense more. I mean, last year, you asked me to do a fit to fall back in a triple option or whatever. You don't really know what that means, but I wouldn't, I would have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I'd probably just end up on my ass or something. Uh, just yeah, just another year in the system. I mean, last year, like I said earlier, if that happened, I, we half of us wouldn't understand our plays well enough to then know our plays and then adjust to the triple option. So now that we know everything cold pretty well, I mean, it's just it's just a lot easier just to communicate like with the coach and stuff like what's going on.